Question number 181, match the following columns and select the correct option. Column 1, a tracheal system. Tracheal system is present in insects. An example of insect is peri planeta that is cockroach so a matches with four ciliated comb plates eight external rows of ciliated comb plates are present in tenophores and these ciliated comb plates help in locomotion example of tenophore is a pleurobrachia so b matches with three C. Calcareous endoskeleton. Calcareous endoskeleton is present in echinoderms. An example of echinoderm is echinus, that is C. Archin. So C matches with two. And mental and shell. Mental and shell, these are the peculiar features of mollusk. An example of mollusk is a pila, that is apple snail. So D matches with one let's see this combination is given in which option a with four b with three c with two and d with one in option number one so correct answer to this question is option one moving to the next question question number 182 an excessive loss of fluid from the body can activate all except and the options given are first option release of adh from neurohypophysis this is correct because when there is excessive loss of fluid from the body Osmolarity of body fluids increases. As a result, osmoreceptors present in the hypothalamus get stimulated and in turn hypothalamus stimulate neurohypophysis or posterior lobe of pituitary to release ADH. Then this ADH acts on DCT and CD of nephrons that is distal convoluted tubule and collecting duct. This ADH increases the permeability of DCT and CD for water. As a result, water is reabsorbed. Second option, reabsorption of sodium and water from the renal tubules in presence of aldosterone. This is also correct because when there is excessive loss of fluid from the body, body will try to make up this loss. And one way to make up this loss is release of aldosterone. This aldosterone acts on later parts of the renal tubule and facilitates reabsorption of sodium and water. Third option, release of renin from JG cells. This is also correct when there is excessive loss of fluid from the body. Then blood volume decreases, blood pressure decreases and as a result GFR decreases and fall in GFR stimulates JG cells to secrete renin, that is renin angiotensin aldosterone system stimulates and finally aldosterone is released which acts on the distal parts of the renal tubules and stimulates reabsorption of sodium and water. Fourth option, release of ANF from atria of heart. This is incorrect because ANF that is atrial natriuretic factor is released when there is a high blood pressure but when there is excessive loss of fluid from the body blood volume decreases blood pressure decreases so ANF will not release from the atria of heart so correct answer to this question is option number four moving to the next question question number 183 select the mismatch and the options given are first option dna ligases join ends of cut dna molecules this is a correct match second option exonucleases remove nucleotides from the ends of the dna this is also a correct match third option nucleases separate the two strands of dna this is incorrect nucleases do not separate the two strands of dna Fourth option, DNA polymerases, they add nucleotides to 3 dash end of a growing DNA strand. This is also a correct match. So, incorrect match is given in option 3. So, correct answer to this question is option number 3. Moving to the next question, question number 184. Choose the correct statement with respect to human digestive system and the options given are first option, mucosa is the outermost layer of the elementary canal. This is incorrect. You can see in the diagram, serosa is the the outermost layer of elementary canal. Second option, ileum is the longest part of small intestine. This is correct. Third option, vermiform appendix arises from ileum and is vestigial. This is incorrect. Vermiform appendix arises from cecum. Fourth option, Peyer's patches are present in submucosa of ileum. This is incorrect because pears patches are present in the mucosa of ileum. So, correct statement is option number two. So, this is our answer. Moving to the next question. 
Question number 185, embryological support of evolution was given by and the options given are first option Alfred Wallace, second option Charles Darwin, third option Oparin and fourth option Ernst Tackel. First option Alfred Wallace. He was a naturalist and he worked in Malay Archipelago and came to the similar conclusion as that of Charles Darwin with respect to natural selection. Second option, Charles Darwin, he gave natural selection theory. Third option, Operin. Operin of Russia and Haldane of England. They proposed chemical evolution theory for origin of life. Fourth option, Ernst Haeckel. M Ernst Haeckel provided embryological support of evolution. He gave biogenetic law, which states that ontogeny recapitulates phylogeny. That is, embryonic history repeats ancestral history. So correct answer to this question is option number four.